guys welcome back to my channel so I just wanted to show you guys something that I'm gonna eat before I head to the gym and Kenneth is over here licking his finger like nasty nobody wants to hear you doing that because I have a lot I have a lot of juice in my fingers all right Let's well see. anyways we're gonna be eating this. he's gonna come to the gym with me to record and to you know work out on his own um, what I'm eating right now is going to be a little turkey taco and Obviously, it's empty, but um, we're going to be using the Flat Out Light Original Flatbread. It's half the calorie, half the carbs, and it's only 90 calories. And it's high on fiber, so that's perfect. This is 9 grams of protein. And on top of that protein, I'm going to be eating with ground turkey. And this is the lean ground turkey. She made burger. Yeah, I made burgers there. Burger ground turkeys. I yep. mean, ground turkey burgers. And they're really good. Yeah, so that's gonna be my. You want um, spinach? Pre workout. You want spinach on it? Yep. My pre workout meal. And then I'll be seeing you guys at the gym. Bye. Of course, always start out your workouts with a warm up. Right now, I'm gonna start off my ab workout with this warm up using the cable machine and a bench, and I'm gonna be doing weighted in and outs. Now, a lot of people tend to use this um, equipment for their booty or their back, um, but here I ended up using it, making sure that I'm connecting my elbow and knee every time I go up, and this definitely, you will feel it on your abs. And of course you do it on the other side to make sure you're contracting both sides of your abs and not just one side. It's getting me in trouble, baby. And I can't break away. I thought that I could keep it low. Take it easy, take it slow. I had such a hard time doing these knee crunches before and of course you guys have to keep practicing on things that you want to accomplish and you'll definitely get better at it. Here I am doing the knee crunches and I do about 20 reps and I also end up doing the side knee crunches to make sure I'm targeting my whole ab area. Now these pull-ups, you don't have to use a weight, but I like to use a weight 
um, and definitely make sure I'm pressing up every time I lift up. Now for the leg V-ups, they're definitely going to have you burning at the end. Um, try these out and let me know what you think of them on the comments down below. Going straight after the single leg V-ups, I am going to be doing the plate passovers and this was a first for me and I love 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 them so they're definitely gonna be on my next workout for my abs and I ended up using a five pound weight to start off with and they definitely work now for around the world you could definitely do these on a bench um, I have tried them out on a bench before, but I ended up using just the mat on the floor um, just because we are using a lot of workouts on the mat. I didn't want to move, so I ended up just continuing my workout with Around the World. And of course, you're going to go the opposite way to target the other side of your stubborn abs. And you know how to forget. Now for the very, 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 very last exercise. Well, I like to call these the plank and I always end up doing these for a minute, always counting myself, timing myself, whatever you want to call it. Um, but I do my plank and then I end up going straight to my side, to side plank after the minute has been completed. And after that, I just keep on going for a whole minute doing the side to side plank. And at first I found these very difficult as well. But you keep on practicing, put your mind to the muscle, and you'll definitely see results. I know I have, especially after having a baby, I definitely have seen big results to my abs. So make sure to follow your girl at Stephanie Giselle 15 and like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, bye.